Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. We are about to try out some new drugstore products and I am excited. Y'all know I love, love, love drugstore and affordable products. And I've just got a new foundation in the mail, which is the new Wet n Wild Dewy Photo, uh, Photo Finish Foundation. The original one was, let's see, was it a matte finish? I forgot the finish of it, but I did a full review on it. This was, ooh girl, this was like three, four years ago. But I'm interested in seeing how this looks on my face. I'm interested in seeing how it wears for one, like how it holds up throughout the day. So we're gonna be doing a full day wear test. The time is 9.22 a.m. So um, yeah, got this. And we also got some other new products. So I'm gonna start out with the lips, of course, cause there is nothing on my lips. This is the Milani rose lip butter which i have been obsessed with so you guys know i like to moisturize my skin before anything so let's try out this new garnier skin active water rose 24 hour moisture cream i feel like this will be a good moisturizer to use under the products that i'm using today so we're using a dewy foundation we're using what well, we're trying out a dewy foundation we're trying out a matte primer which my camera keeps cutting off on me. I don't know why, but I don't know if the clip will save. But what I was saying is I feel like this will be a good moisturizer to go up under the products that we're using today because um, we're going to be trying out a dewy foundation. And so far, this feels really, really good on my skin. Really lightweight. So, yeah, we're going to be trying out a dewy foundation, a matte primer, a matte setting spray, and a couple of more other new products. So, Let's get into this. So far, I do like how this moisturizer feels on my skin. Um, it does absorb really fast, but it also leaves my skin looking really fresh and glowy. Okay, and it smells really good. Mm. The primer that we're trying out today is the new e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. I was not a fan of the original one. For some reason, that one made my skin really, really oily, not even three, four hours into wearing my makeup. So hopefully this will not do the same thing. I'm gonna focus most of this product on my T-zone because that's where I am oily. And I still, to this day, get questions on if I have oily skin. I think I probably forget to mention it in my tutorials, but I do have combination skin. So the only areas on my face that gets really oily is my T-zone. But let's try this out so it does feel the same has that same feeling as the original primer. But I'm just gonna focus most of it right here on my nose. That moisturizer smells so good. I still smell it. it smells so good. And I'm gonna put some right here on my chin. And I also like to put it right here on my smile lines. Just kind of pack it into the skin now that we are moisturized and primed i'm gonna do my brows i don't have any new brow products from the drugstore but since we're sticking to drugstore and affordable products i'm gonna be using my favorite well one of my favorite brow pencils which um uh, which is the revolution pro brow pencil i use a shake um why can't i talk it's so early i use a shade dark brown so i'm gonna do my brows off camera and i will be right back now we have our brows cleaned up. Um, I don't know how I feel about this primer yet because it didn't dry down too matte like I thought it would. And it could be because of the moisturizer. I try not to put so much in this area though. But there's this one drugstore um, primer that hands down, in my opinion, is the best mattifying primer, which is the Rimmel London Stay Matte. That one, no matter what, um, what, no matter what, ugh, why can I talk? No matter what moisturizer I put on my skin, even when I put that on on top, it still dries down pretty matte and it lasts. Like that is the best. One of my favorite drugstore mattifying primers. So I don't know how I feel about this one yet, um, but let's go ahead and try the foundation. I got the shade Golden Almond and I think that's the same shade that I used in the original one. So let's shake her up. The shade before this one was too light and it looked too a little on the gray side. And then the shade after this one, which was the last shade, was obviously too dark. So let's try her out. 
And I think this has the same, yeah, it has the same little spatula. I wish they came with a, um, a pump, but let's see how it looks. That's all I'm gonna put on for now. Blend her out, take my beauty sponge and blend. It still has that same paint scent, like it smells like paint. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty warm, but we will make it work once we put on our concealer. But the coverage looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna take whatever is left on the sponge and work my way up to my forehead. And you know what? I'm not even gonna put on any more foundation. I'm just gonna leave it like this. Just go with this one layer, which I think looks pretty nice. The coverage looks really, really nice. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and apply some concealer. The concealer I'm using is the Maybelline Superstay. I haven't used this in a while, but I threw this one in my everyday makeup sash for this month and also for um, next month. The shade I got is Tan, yeah, Tan 45. I almost wish I still had the original Wet n Wild foundation just so I can at least compare the two. But this one doesn't look too bad. Like the finish looks really, really pretty. And you can already see the concealer is definitely evening out everything so it doesn't look too warm on my face anymore because the concealer just, it just makes everything look so much better. All right, y'all, now for setting powder. I pulled out my Rimmel London Stay Matte Setting Powder because I have two new powders that I wanna try out, but I don't think I wanna use them to set my concealer. So these are the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powders I have dark and I also have medium. I didn't know what shade would work best, but it's Halo Glow. And I'm almost scared to use these to set my concealer because it's gonna be like that, what is it? The, the Laura Mercier Translucent Glow Powder. So that's why I pulled this one out, which y'all see I have hit pan on this. This, I used to use this all the time time it's so good so that's why I pulled it back out let me at least open up the powder and see um, how it looks I haven't even cracked the seal so let's see how she looks I want to try medium first because this one seems like it would be the color that I would actually use to set my concealer so let me just see how she looks on my hand oh okay so it doesn't really have a shimmer in it so it looks pretty matte but it looks super duper white so that's definitely one I will not be using um, and then let's try medium well dark and see how this one looks yeah that one's way too light and I feel like the medium that color would really stick to my concealer and it probably won't blend out as good I don't know, but let's see. Let's see what dark looks like. Let's see. I should have opened the seals before I started recording, but I came prepared with my tweezers. So dark would probably be the color that I use to set my entire face. No, not really. It's actually lighter than, okay, this one I can see a little bit of a glow. I couldn't really see it in medium, but that color is lighter once you apply it. It looks pretty dark in the, the little container, but oh yeah, I see. I definitely see a glow. Can you guys see? Probably can't see it, but I can definitely see a glow in this powder. So that's not something I would want to use to set my concealer. So we're going to go ahead and do the Rimmel London Stay Matte 
to set the concealer let me go back in with my sponge so there's no creasing i'm still going to try the powder out though i'm going to put a little bit of it on my face later on but we're going to go in with rimmel london stay matte and just put this under my eyes to set everywhere that i applied my concealer next thing i'm going to go into is my revolution matte powder this is just going to set um, everywhere else on the face that I did not set and the shade I use is P13 I'm just gonna lightly buff this all right so I don't have a new bronzer to use so we're gonna take the Patricia bright face palette this one is you are gold and this is gonna be our bronzer for today Okay, I will say though, since my face already looks kind of glowy, I mean, it's not like dewy dewy, but you kind of see a natural glow within, even after applying setting powder. This foundation is doing what it says it does. It's, it's, it's pretty dewy. So um, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that since I'm going to be wearing this all day. And I also want to see if that primer is going to really do what it says it does. We going to see. We going to see. I'm going to take a little bit of my Wet n Wild Banana Powder and just let it sit on the sides of my nose. Okay, y'all, please, please, please don't be mad at me, but we are going to be doing another neutral look because I need to take some pictures today and I don't want anything colorful, like, I don't want a colorful look in the pictures. So, um, I do have a new shadow though, a new shadow that I got from Walmart. The brand is called In Studio. This is how it looks. So they have like a whole section of like a whole wall it's like a small section though filled with single shadows they had eyeliners they had i think they had brow pencils i believe uh, i forgot what but the first thing that caught my attention was all of these single shadows and they were really 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 cheap but i only wanted to get one this one is in the shade Spice, and I just wanted to try it out. I just wanted to see how the formula was before I went crazy. And I thought this color would be like the perfect crease color or just a good everyday natural looking color. So this is how it looks right there. And let me open it so y'all can see it better right there. Let me swatch it so we can really see it. Ooh, buttery. Okay. Buttery. Really buttery. Yeah, pretty, pretty light, but very, very natural looking. And that's what I want because I don't want anything too crazy in the pictures that I'm going to be taking today. Let's see how it performs on the eyes though. I'm taking my Morphe M535 brush and I'm just going to place it all over my lid like this. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. And it feels so buttery, like so, so buttery. Okay, I like this color. I love it. Yes. Ooh very very natural looking oh yeah yeah so this is gonna be my one shadow look but really I just want to know how these products work, like how they're gonna hold up that's my main reason of doing like my first impression is to just really see how the products work not so much do um, to do like a full-blown makeup tutorial but just to see how the products perform and so far this shadow is so stinking pretty and it blends so good but yeah that's all i'm doing 
y'all are probably tired of these one shadow looks, but I gotta do what I gotta do today. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes. These are my Ardell Remy Lashes, style 778, and I will be right back. All right, girls, so we got our lashes on. Eyes are looking cute. Very soft and natural looking. Y'all know this is my go-to look. Cannot get enough of it. But let's try the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder as a finishing powder. I'm going to use dark instead of medium because medium was way too light. You know what? No, 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 no. We're just going to use medium. I meant dark instead. And I'm just going to take my powder brush from my brush set to use this powder with. Just take a good bit of it. Kind of lightly. Probably put too much. All right. Let's just buff this all over the face. All right, so that went on pretty much like a, a translucent powder. You don't really see the color, but it definitely smoothed everything out. It looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, so that is that for now. Oh crap. Dang, I was gonna use my liquid blush before doing that. This is the new Revolution Pro Liquid Blush in the shade Peach, no, Peaches. Dang, I was gonna do that before applying my finishing powder. Mm, let me see what I can do. I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand like this. I'm just gonna tap it in with my finger. Since it's so liquidy, I wanna make sure to tap it in first on my hand like this and then take a brush and just go on the cheeks. Okay, so that's not bad. Ooh, I like this color. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm excited. Okay. Okay, so far so good, you guys. My skin looks pretty freaking good. So far so good. All right, so next is highlighter. Where did it go? I'm gonna try this new Revolution Pro um, skin finish. And I feel like this is really, really, really similar to the MAC Mineralize skin finish. I think this will go perfect with that blush because it's pretty gold and the blush is peach. Oh yes, do y'all see? And it doesn't look chunky either. Like it's very silky. So it doesn't really look chunky. It doesn't go on chunky. It just looks like wet skin. So now the last step is the lips. So before we get into that, I wanna take my Milani Make It Last Matte Finishing Spray and just spray this all over my face. Hopefully that helps with the longevity of my makeup since we are doing a full day wear test. Let me go ahead and do the lips so we can finish up. This is by Black Radiance. It's actually a new lip product. Haven't tried this shade out. It's called Hollywood Hot, and it's their Perfect Tone Matte Lip Creams. Now, I have tried these out already. I do like how the formula is. It does kind of draw down pretty matte, so just make sure that you're prepping your lips if you are wearing any type of matte lip product that you feel like may dry out your lips. That's why I always like to prep my lips first before going into anything on my face. But yeah, Hollywood Hot, and let me swatch it so y'all can see it. This is a true taupey nude, which I am all about love the color now i am gonna line my lips gonna line my lips with my color pop lip pencil this is bff3 so let's line this first now for the liquid lipstick i like to put it in the center of my lips first like this and then blot mm, i like this color mmm and now it's drying down matte. So these are really, really creamy once you apply them. Like they feel really buttery smooth, but they do dry down pretty matte, as you can tell. But my lips don't feel dry because I did prep my lips earlier. But this color, girl, this may be my next go-to lip shade. This looks so freaking good with BFF3. You know what? I'm going to take a little bit of the Revolution Pro mineralize um, well the skin finish one more time and taking my pencil shader brush from my brush set and I'm just gonna go into the inner corner of my tear ducts just kind of brighten it up some 
right there. All right, guys, so this is how we're looking so far before we go on with the rest of our day. Um, I'm going to try to have everything on for at least eight hours today so y'all can really see how the makeup held up, how it looks, and all of that good stuff. I'm really curious to see how this is going to look by the end of the day because we do have a lot of glowy products on besides the um, primer and the matte setting spray everything else was pretty dewy and also a little bit on the glowy side but we will see by the end of the day how everything held up fingers crossed that it still looks good um, but so far so good so far I do like how the finish of the foundation looks I like how it leaves my skin looking pretty glowy but not too dewy so so far so good so far so good but I'm going to check back with you guys later on so y'all can see how it held up and give you guys my final thoughts on the products that we used. So yeah, I will see you guys later on. Hey guys, I'm back. So the time is 5.18 p.m. So as y'all can see right there on my phone and this is how my face is looking. It is starting to get a little shiny, but it's nothing too serious. Um, I think a lot of it is having to do with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder because I did dust it all over my face and it does give you a little bit of a glow. Um, I did reapply my lip, my liquid lip, just on the center of my lips just a little bit because I was um, in the process of taking pictures. Um, but the face looks, I mean, it doesn't look bad at all. I will say the foundation is definitely on the more dewy side. So if, um, if you don't like the original one and you're wanting something that is not as drying, but I honestly don't want to say the other one was drying. I can't, re honestly, I can't remember how it wore, but just know this one, the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation is definitely a little bit more dewy and y'all can see when I was applying my makeup y'all can see that my face still had that nice subtle shine to it so honestly not bad at all um, would I recommend it definitely yes it's very affordable um, and the coverage is really really nice you guys saw that I only applied one layer of the foundation I feel like if I applied one more layer it would have given me more coverage because around my mouth you can kind of see right here um, that I could have gotten more coverage like I could have went in with another layer but I really wanted to show but I really wanted to show you guys how it looked with that one layer and just know if you want more coverage you will definitely have to build it up but all in all I feel like my face looks pretty good it looks pretty freaking good it doesn't look too greasy it doesn't look too bad at all so Yes, I wanted to check in so y'all could see how everything held up. Um, but I guess that is all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Everything else that I tried out, um, I liked. I don't have any complaints. The setting spray, I wouldn't say it'll keep your face matte because as you can see, um, my face isn't matte. And the, um, the primer, the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer, even though it's not too too greasy right up in here i wouldn't consider it a good like in my opinion i could do without it the rimmel london stay matte primer is definitely top it is the best drugstore mattifying primer i've ever tried and i feel like there's probably nothing that's going to come close to that one unless they come out with something new and it's just it just beats it but as of right now rimmel london stay matte primer is the best 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 drugstore primer that i have ever tried it just keeps everything matte in my opinion it just keeps everything matte but that is all that i have you guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here i hope you enjoyed my first impression and also my full day wear test on some of these affordable products let me know if you tried out anything that i shared in today's video what are your thoughts on them do they work for you did they not work for you let me know so that is all i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you thumbs it up Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.